It's the GI Collector! Coming in with a G.I. Joe review. Got these from my friend Jen. Let's talk about the G.I. Joes themselves that she sent me. We got a lifeline in the bag. Broken crotch piece. Pretty loose, but all I gotta do is fix the crotch. Give him a new O-ring. Pretty neat so far. Let's see, we got Shockwave's legs, skin mark. Worst code name in the toy line so far. We got the legs, I wanna say from a televiper. Shockwave's legs. Pretty good to this in. They're kind of scratched up. I like to keep G.I. Joe parts. I use them for my customs. I customize Joes. You guys haven't seen my customs. Probably do a video on those. We got Shockwave in decent color condition. Pretty good looking. But you can see there's yellowing around the arm. I guess one of them. And let's we'll see what else we got in the bag. G.I. Joe Rakondo and Tiger Force Roblox with the broken T crotch. Missing thumbs. Sally, with most G.I. Joe figures, you always get missing thumbs. But I'm definitely going to repair these thumbs. I had my OG Rakondo, but he broke. Like, his legs just came apart, so I just took off the head. But I'm glad to have one. Thanks for sending me, Jen. And also this, Alpine. Better condition than the one I have in my own collection. Heavy metal with some green on his face. It looks like he has a green mask over him. Definitely definitely got some ideas to custom this guy with. Hands are complete though. Pretty much needs a new pair of legs. And let's talk about Half a Man, the Roblox Tiger Force Edition. You know, since I have the Mortal Kombat characters and this is like my third Roblox, I'm thinking about customizing them into Jax. All he needs is a beret and robot arms, to be honest. I'm also pretty happy that Jen gave me the platoon boat. I've never had it in my collection at all. Just needs a couple little repairs. I could probably find the parts somewhere else or custom made some myself. Hope you guys enjoy this. Have a toy-tastic day and yo, Cobra!